Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 Bath & Body Works body mists that I think are really good to start off your collection. If you guys want, I can do like a whole Victoria's Secrets video version of this. I feel like as a beginner, you don't want to like overwhelm yourself. So I'm going to just focus on like one store at a time. And also the scents that I picked out in this video are scents that you could literally go into Bath & Body Works right now and go pick up. There are a few holiday, like winter holiday scents, which you can only get during the holiday season, obviously, but most of them are like all year round scents that they have in like their core line. I wanted to do it this way just because it's already so overwhelming going into that store and so many things to choose from that I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with like retired scents and all of that. So I wanted to just focus on like the basics. And then once you're a little bit more advanced, I guess, then you can go into retired scents. Speaking of retired scents, I do want to do like my top favorite retired scents because I have so, so, so many that I cannot live without. But as a beginner, I wanted to focus on like their core line first because I feel like once you go into retired scents, then it just gets even more overwhelming. If you are literally just starting at point zero, you don't have a single one of these fragrance mists, but you want to go into the store and you don't want to feel like, oh my god, which one do I get first? What if I get one that's not good? I got you guys. These are like my top 10 and one more that's kind of like an honorable mention. I've gotten multiple compliments on all of these, but at least one on every single one of these scents. I didn't want to do any too like polarizing mists in this video just so that all of these can kind of cater towards everybody in a bunch of different tastes. None of these are like the typical body mist generic body mist sort of scent a lot of these smell very perfumey like much like they could literally be a designer scent and i wanted to do that just because as a beginner you probably want something that smells very high-end but you don't want to pay that high-end price because let's be real you don't have to and if you go shopping on like the sale days which bath and body works has a lot of especially if you have coupons you could get some of these for free but you could also get them for like five bucks i would never recommend actually paying the full price of these this one for example is 17.50 which is crazy and then i think like the average price is like 14 13 dollars but never get it for that much they have sales all the time they are all very long lasting for body mist which is another kind of criteria i wanted to add into this video you want something that will do the job like as well as smelling good but it'll also stay on you for a long period of time so if you want to see my top 10 picks for body mist to start out your collection including an honorable mention then just keep watching so what is this video if i hadn't included this obviously in the stars in the stars that's all i'm gonna say you need in the stars if you have never stepped foot into bath and body works and it's like your first scent you're trying to decide which scent do I want to buy in this whole entire store? Obviously, you have your own preference, so you can kind of pick and choose which one of these fits your preference more. But this scent, I have gotten the most complimented on this scent right here. And every time I wear it, I cannot stop smelling myself. It's such a perfume-like scent that does not even one bit smell like a body mist. Like, if you have this on, people will think, like, what designer fragrance do you have on right now? And a lot of body mists, the notes are like, fresh pear watermelon like i don't know like basic fruits and stuff like that like those are the typical body mist notes but once you read the notes in here you'll realize yourself how complex this is this has star flower sandalwood musk sugar tangelo white agar wood and radiant amber i feel like for a body mist those are such complex actual perfume notes that you could find in like a high-end designer or even niche perfume this kind of has a hint of like that Baccarat Rouge vibe but coming from somebody that has smelled Baccarat Rouge and I own so many of the dudes of Baccarat Rouge this is 10 times better than any sort of Baccarat Rouge dupe this isn't a Baccarat Rouge dupe I wouldn't call it a dupe for it because it's so much more different but it kind of has that same ozonic vibe to it like even has like this kind of masculine little edgy vibe to it but it lacks the medicinal like super kind of sickly sweet and in your face scent that Baccarat Rat Rouge has this one is not as sweet it still has like a little bit of sweetness to it but it's more woody and more sexy and just honestly way more complex which is weird considering that fragrance is literally like over $300 and this one on a sale day you could find for 
five looks. It's still very feminine, but it does have like kind of a little bit of like that unisex vibe. This body mist is literally addicting to you, to anybody that will smell you. And if you have this on, especially if you are a beginner and you want to like go for a scent that will become like your signature scent and you want to get like maybe the whole collection, like the body mist, the body cream, the lotion, the shower gel, and you just want to layer all those scents together and you want that to become like your signature, this is the scent. I think they've kept this around for a good while and I hope that they never get rid of this scent. I own like three of these and I go through them. I'm almost done with one that I already have in my collection. I actually recently picked this up in their 550 body care sale if you saw my haul. I've already used this like a decent amount. The fact that I have all these scents, I have a huge body mist collection and I go through this scent so much, I think that should tell you enough. If you are even not a beginner and you don't have this in your collection, this needs to be there promise you unless you don't like this scent for whatever reason i don't think i've ever come across anybody that has smelled this and hasn't liked it no matter if you like sweet scents or fresh scents or whatever your preference is i feel like this just has been a hit with every single person okay. the next scent i think that you need in your collection as a beginner especially this right here is a thousand wishes this is another one of those scents that i keep backups of this is like those compliment getter literal compliment magnets type of scents it's a sweet scent overall but there is like this freshness to it it's so addicting much like the last one that i just showed this is pink prosecco sparkling keens crystal peonies gilded amber and amaretto cream this one kind of opens up a little bubbly and almost kind of like a little champagne-y because of that prosecco obviously so it has like a little bit of like this tang to it in the beginning but then you quickly get the amber which rounds us up and then the amaretto cream just gives it that like amazing sweetness that this has this is so good this is definitely the scent that you're going to get the most compliments from guys from because this is like the scent that most guys like love on a woman i feel like so i mean if that appeals to you then get the scent but anybody will like this scent. this is a super 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 girly girl type of scent so if that fits you then that is the perfect scent for you to get such a feminine pretty but there is like kind of like this sexiness to it all at the same time so that is a thousand wishes and this is the honorable mention so i'm not counting this within the top 10 but this is kind of like it goes hand in hand with a thousand wishes this is a thousand christmas wishes which you can obviously only get during the holiday time but i think they pretty much bring this out every year i don't know how new this is i know for a fact they brought this out last year they brought it back again this year for good reason this scent is so good it's a lot more deep than the original a thousand wishes the original is a lot more fresh it's still sweet but it has a lot more of like a freshness to it this one is a lot deeper because this has berries so for those of you much like myself that are obsessed with like deep berry sweet sugar plum blueberry blackberry type of scents this is going to be it. The berry in here is so prominent and it just makes this a lot more deep. I wouldn't consider this one like a fresh sweet scent. I would just consider it like sweet, fruity, but like sweet and fruity to the core. It's so intense. The notes of this are completely different than the original. This one is pomegranate, prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugared woods. So definitely different notes. It still has that prosecco note that is in the original, but the original has like pink prosecco, which I feel like is why this is a little bit more fresh, I guess. And then this one has that pomegranate prosecco, which kind of makes this a little bit more deep and sultry and sexy. And I love this. This is definitely if you love like the dark deep fruits and especially if you love this scent but you want it to be a little bit darker, deeper, more seductive, get a thousand Christmas wishes. I feel like these two scents, although this one is like a flanker of it, I think they could be two completely different scents because I don't think that they smell alike. I guess they both kind of have the same vibe to them ish but they smell completely different you can tell that just by the package right. next classic scent you could get this all year round this is into the night this kind of goes hand in hand with in the stars if you're going into bath and body works for the first time and you need like just the two most basic scents that you're gonna get that smell absolutely amazing to start your collection it should be into the night and in the stars if you have ever wanted to try out black opium from ysl but you can't afford it or you just don't want to spend the money get this it gives you the exact same vibes it has very similar notes it definitely has like that coffee sort of sweet coffee scent very like deep sultry sexy coffee scent i feel like the packaging is very reminiscent of 
like that sexy sultry vibe that this has going on this is raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk this definitely smells like a legitimate perfume it's a very close dupe to black opium in my opinion i have heard a lot of people say that this is a very close dupe to dark kiss from bath and body works i personally disagree because i think dark kiss is a little bit more heavy on the patchouli i love dark kiss by the way i i think it's such an ultra sexy scent i mean you can tell just by the name it's such a beautiful dark deep edgy kind of seductive scent but the patchouli is a little bit more intense in that this one is a little bit i don't want to say fresh because it's definitely not fresh it's definitely another like deep sweet scent but it's not as intense in my opinion as dark kiss is but they do give off the same vibe so i'll give it that and i just wanted to mention that because dark kiss is a retired scent so if you have been wanting to get that and you can't get your hands on it Although Bath & Body Works pretty much always brings it out. I think there's such a demand for it that they always bring it back into their stores. It's always online, so you can pretty much always get it. But I just wanted to mention that. This is an amazing raspberry, but like very, very nighttime raspberry. Definitely like a deep date night scent that you will get complimented for. And it does have that creamy patchouli, but creamy patchouli is like the perfect name for it because it's not intense patchouli and in your face. You guys know how I feel about patchouli. It can just get too much in here. It's elevating this, it's giving that like that perfumey feel that doesn't smell at all like a body mist, but it's not overpowering it. It's definitely like a creamy sweet patchouli rather than like dirt smelling like patchouli can sometimes come across if it's done too much so yeah definitely recommend it into the night this next scent is a little bit controversial but i have to include it because this is probably one of my most complimented scents ever this right here is you're the one so this one kind of has a little bit of a controversy around it just because i feel like you kind of have to have a certain preference to like this one and that's kind of weird because my preference is the total opposite of this type of scent but i really enjoy this as you guys know i'm not into heavy rose scents and that's exactly what this is but there's something about it that i enjoy so so much this one is fragrance notes of white birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar i definitely think that that drop of strawberry nectar is making me not hate this the rose in here is definitely like an intense rose smell and i can understand how this can kind of come across as like a more vintage type of rose but there's still a freshness to it it has like this very likable quality i have included this in my body mist dupes video where i dupe body mist to perfumes and i've included this as a body mist dupe for miss dior's absolutely blooming i think they smell very similar this also smells very similar to idol or idol from lancome not really sure how to say it but it has like that same vibe this smells so rich and expensive this smells like a 200 dollars perfume it has such a like high-end vibe to it even like smelling it it's a very long lasting scent i know that this is a body mist and usually with body mist you go ham spraying them because it's a body mist it's not so concentrated like a perfume would be but this one treat this as a perfume don't go overboard with this because you could get too much because it's that strong will last you a long time and it projects like crazy it is that rose kind of a little bit like vintage rose but it has so much sweetness to it and it's just such a high-end fragrance overall like i could not not include this even though i don't like this type of scent usually something about this if you are a beginner and you're going into bath and body works and maybe you don't even know what your preference is go and smell this and let me know what you think of it and it's one of my most if not my most complimented scent like i remember so vividly one day i was picking up my friend to go like out we were gonna go out shopping and i had been wearing this already for a couple hours so the scent obviously you would think would not be as strong but she comes into my car she's like you smell so freaky like your whole car smells so good like what is that and i made her smell me and she was like please tell me like what are you wearing and i told her it was bath and body work she's like what like i thought you were wearing like a freaking 200 hundred dollar perfume it smells so good so had to include you're the one because you're definitely the one all right another classic we have champagne toast this is like a limited edition packaging but you can pretty much always get champagne toast it is in their core line champagne toast is kind of like along the same realm as a thousand wishes because it has that same sort of bubbly tangy sour a little bit citrusy opening that that one has but a thousand wishes is way more fruity this one is kind of like sweet champagne it's like you can almost smell like 
the bubbliness of that champagne in here. Okay, I grabbed my OG champagne toast because the other one didn't have the notes behind it. So this one is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. So this one, if you love kind of tangy, citrusy scents that are not too in your face sweet, but still have a little bit of sweetness to them, then you're going to really enjoy this. This one is pretty fresh, but it's still sweet. Like, don't get me wrong because you can still smell like that sparkling berries in here. If you guys ever tried raspberry tangerine from Bath & Body Works, this has the same vibe, but there is like this added sparkling tangy champagne note in here, which kind of gives it more of like a sexy vibe and more of like a perfumey vibe, I feel like in my opinion. I really enjoy this scent. Another super complimented type of scent that is just like overall a really big crowd pleaser. And yeah, a lot of men really enjoy this scent. I've gotten compliments from men from this scent more than I have from women. Definitely like a starter type of scent for sure. Even if you're not a beginner with Bath & Body Works and you don't have any of these scents, these are like scents that you just need in your collection. I feel like you could have other scents around these, but I feel like these are like just the go-tos. All right, Forever Red. This, it was a love at first sniff. This is so incredible. Forever Red is the most amazing. Oh my God. I don't know how to even begin to describe it. So I guess I'll start off by telling you the notes. This is fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood. So this is like that sweet girly scent, but make it ultra sexy like make it more mature but not like mature mature it has that like fiery pomegranate and it's still like a soft scent even though it's still very like sweet and in your face it still kind of remains pretty soft this is like kind of an intimate scent and something that anybody could smell off of you and they will just be like addicted to you you know those scenes from like tom and jerry where jerry like smells the cheese and he's like literally like flying this is this is the type of scent like, that i feel like if somebody smelled this on you they'll be like literally floating trying to get to the scent because this is so good this just gets me every time probably because of the pomegranate note i'm a sucker for pomegranate notes i think pomegranate notes are just like the top tier most amazing scents to exist on this earth but this is not the usual pomegranate fruity sweet girly girl scent this is take pomegranate but make it sexy make it sultry make it just raunchy and amazing that's this scent forever red is such a perfect like name for this because i feel like every time i smell forever red i think of like the color red like you're wearing a red dress you're wearing red, red lipstick maybe you're wearing like an all black outfit with red lipstick like your hair straight down and you just have this whole vibe going then you pair it off with this you will literally cause traffic like <laughs> this is so so good definitely a scent that is just like a staple and should be a staple in everybody's collection definitely get your hands on forever red i recently tried the body gel of that and i used it in the shower and i was blown away i was like where have i been all my life and then i paired it with the body mist period game over a newer bath and body Works scent this right here is fairy tale i wanted to get this scent just the moment that I saw the packaging. I'm a literal sucker for packaging. Sometimes I get things just because of the packaging. Like, do you hear how stupid and sick that that sounds? This scent right here is like the ultimate sexy, elevated, like working in a bank type of like boss chick vibe fragrance. This is like, ever since it came out, it has been like a known dupe to YSL Libre. You all know probably that scent and I've compared it in my Body Mist dupes video because it smells so much like it. So many times body mists that come out smell very similar to perfumes. They give off the same vibe, but maybe they're like not spot on dupes. This, this is a spot on dupe. It's definitely not as intense because the original perfume of leaves already like compared to any perfume in general is such a strong projecting long lasting scent. So this one doesn't really come close to like how powerful that scent is like strength wise, but it's still fairly projecting considering it is a body mist but the scents of these two are so similar it has pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber i feel like this has a little bit more freshness to it than all of the other scents that i've included it's still sweet just like leap but it has like this powerful freshness that has a lot of depth in it because it still has like vanilla bean. It still has warm amber. Like it still has those really delicious, warm, sweet scents to kind of round out like the super freshness. I feel like the packaging definitely is very true to the scent though. It's kind of like a magical, woody, mystical, whimsical type of scent that you definitely need to smell 
to understand what I'm talking about. This is kind of more of a polarizing scent, I would say. I think anybody can enjoy this scent and it is a crowd pleaser at the end of the day. But you definitely kind of need to smell this one. I wouldn't consider this for everybody's taste because not everybody loved this when it first came out. But the people that love it are like obsessed with it. Which is the same case in the actual perfume of Lieb. People either loved it or hated it. It also has like that like cologne vibe to it the original perfume of lieb has the lavender in it which gives it like that unisex vibe but still it's like very feminine it's so hard to describe and this one has that same scent i feel like i've described it so horribly but it's definitely a scent you need to smell for yourself the next scent is a fairly new scent but i believe this is going to stay like within their core line so you could always get it this scent is pure wonder i really wanted to include this scent because this is another one of those very perfumey scents. This is another one that, that I included in my Body Mist Perfumes dupe video. And I said that this was a dupe for Michael Kors Wonderlust. And the reason why I'm including it in this video is because that is a perfume I have wanted to get for the longest time. I don't know why I still haven't bought it, but I, I know that at one point I will have that perfume in my collection. I found that perfume super, super sexy and kind of like a day-to-day -day wear, everyday signature scent type of scent that smells very feminine but fresh it's not like sickingly sweet it's not something that could just be reserved for like a specific occasion or a specific time of day you could wear it all year round every single day no matter the season this one is ice rose star jasmine and warm white amber i think out of everything that i'm showing you today this is the most fresh out of all of them again this does have sweetness i feel like all of the scents that i'm showing you today have sweetness in them i would Kind of put this in the same vibe as A Thousand Wishes. So if that's a scent you'd really enjoy, this is kind of the same vibe. It's in the same realm because of that like iced rosé. Again, it has that like sparkling sort of alcoholic beverage vibe. Kind of like a tangy little kick to it in the beginning. But then it rounds up with like the warm white amber. And I absolutely love and adore the scent of jasmine which is in here. Which gives it like that really feminine floral quality without being too like heady floral or just too much floral in general. This is a really, really good scent. Very much a compliment getter and crowd pleaser. It's nothing like insanely unique, but something that will garner you a ton of compliments because it's just a really pretty, beautiful scent overall. It's just one of those like elegant type of scents. And then the last two scents are part of their holiday collection, but I think that these scents could be worn all year round and I definitely wanted to make this video in this time of year right now just so that these scents are available right now for you guys to go and buy because I think these are scents that everybody needs in their collection all year round. I think they should be like staples in Bath & Body Works like in their core line. They should just be called something else because these two scents don't really smell like winter to me like they both smell very much like everyday scents especially one of them so i'm going to start off with that scent which is snowflakes and cashmere i think recently this has just completely blown up somebody brought to my attention recently something that i had never even thought of putting together and somebody said that they think that this smells like velvet petals from victoria's secret once I do my Victoria's Secret video, um, big spoiler, Velvet Petals will be in that video. Velvet Petals is one of my most complimented scents. It's my fiance's absolute favorite scent on me, I think, period. Not even just body mist wise, but overall, even perfumes. And somebody told me that this smells similar. And now I cannot unsmell it. I don't know how I never put that together because velvet petals is such like a classic for me i wear so much and i love it so 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 much i literally have like five backups of it in my collection i never want to run out and i constantly go through them this is similar scent wise to velvet petals but this is a lot more elevated and this one smells sexier velvet petals is very like feminine and sweet and girly girl but it's not super super mature this one is like the sexier more captivating alluring version of velvet petals like if velvet petals is a scent that you enjoy this one will be one that you will enjoy even more there's something more woody and just more captivating and intoxicating in the scent there's something about this this is vanilla cashmere cream caramel woods and frosted clementine i'm gonna be real i don't smell any frosted clementine or any sort of citrus note in here or sparkling tangy like none of that i mean i guess it's playing some role in here like overall but it's not something that i can like pinpoint out of this which i enjoy because i don't love 
citrus scents and this is not at all a citrus scent this is like a vanilla cashmere cream like creamy cashmere sexy intoxicating like skin and very like intimate type of scent is so good and then the caramel woods just give it like that woody feel but then the caramel just sweetens it up even more it's just so good like it's so 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 good and it's just so elevated for a body mist and i just I hope those notes can give you guys some sort of feel for what this smells like. But other than that, I just want to tell you guys, just go go into the store and smell it. Go right now because this is a holiday scent, like I said, so it's only available now. Although I will say, wait till the semi-annual sale. Semi-annual sale is literally right around the corner. So for these holiday scents, wait until the semi-annual sale to get them because they will all be on sale for like dirt, dirt cheap. And semi-annual sale is December 26th. So mark your calendars the day after Christmas, round up all your little gift cards that you're going to get or any money that you get from anybody and head on over to Bath & Body Works. I mean, if you want to, I'm not telling you, but you know. You know I'm going to hit you guys with that semi-annual sale haul. I got to. I just got to. I'm so excited. I have no idea what they're going to have at the sale. I, there's a couple scents that I'm really looking forward to and hoping that they will have them. I just don't know if they will. So anyways, that's enough about snowflakes and cashmere. That's just a need. You need to get it and you need to keep it all year round. Like that's a scent I literally stock up every single holiday season because I wear it so much. I have it in the body cream. I have it in the lotion, shower gel and pairing all of it together chef's kiss and then the very 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 last scent that i have in this top 10 video is winter candy apple so in my opinion although this is winter candy apple i don't think this really smells like a winter i mean what's a winter apple i think that that was just kind of part of the marketing to make this sound like a more wintry scent but there's nothing really in here that i'm like oh that smells like holidays this is a beautiful scent and this is probably not just mine but so many people's most complimented scents if you see any sort of body mist video on youtube or any like top most complimented scents on youtube you'll see that this scent just comes up again and again and again i'm not really into super fresh apple scents because i just feel like they're kind of boring and they don't really last on my skin but this is like a perfumey apple scent. There's a freshness to it. I mean, it's an apple scent at the end of the day, but there's kind of like a creamy element to this as well. And I guess the reason why they kind of categorize this as a winter scent is because there is a scent note of cinnamon in here. So I guess the apple mixed with like the cinnamon, it kind of creates kind of like that typical holiday spice, fall, winter type of smell that you smell during the holidays. So I guess that's why, but it's not so intense that like when you smell this, you think, oh, that's a winter scent. You know, you're not going to smell me when I have this scent on and you're just like, what is she doing in summer wearing a winter scent? Like, no, this is candy red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. I feel like those notes are so complex. Like who thinks to put rose and cinnamon and orange and maple leaf together i don't know but somehow they just work and it smells very like high-end and perfumey winter candy apple just makes this sound like a typical candy apple fresh boring type of scent but it's just so good there's a sweetness to it but it has freshness to it at the same time it's a little bit florally and overall just very perfumey and it just, it's a strong scent especially if you pair this up with like your lotions and stuff this is a scent not to be reckoned with so yeah and you can definitely wear this all year round like i said i definitely do and i love it i always get compliments it just smells really good something that so many people will smell on you and i don't think anybody can be like oh like that's too much for me strong enough for you to smell but not that you're gonna like give everybody around you like headaches so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i really wanted to get this out before christmas time so maybe you could ask for some of these for christmas if you are a beginner starting out and also i wanted to include this because as i said the SAS is right around the corner and some of these holiday scents, not all of them because like I said, a lot of these were core Bath & Body Works scents. So the core items will not be included in the sale. And then the few holiday ones that I showed will be on sale. They have sales on body care or body mist specifically. So often you get the coupon and you can find them for very inexpensive. Let me know which is your favorite body mist from Bath & Body Works. Let the other people know in the comments like what you think some really good starter body mists are this was like my top 10 picks i hope it helps you out let me know if you are a beginner and you're thinking about getting any of these or if you got them by the time you're like done watching this video just come back to this let me know if you got any of these scents how you're liking them as per usual please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye